Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham and we're going to be talking about the secret to ball striking. How we can strike our irons just sweet, as pure as we can. Now, I coach a lot of students and one of the biggest factors that I see for golfers who lose consistency of strike is too much lateral movement. So too much movement from the right and going to the left, too much weight transfer onto one side and the other. And what happens is then the bottom of the swing is so unpredictable. It could hit behind the ball, it can hit the most phenomenal golf shots, and it then can thin the shot. Just too unpredictable. So one of the big things we're going to talk about is the secret to this is staying central. To stay, making sure we reduce lateral movement 100% on the backswing, and which way should we move during the downswing. So... I'm going to throw to this front camera now. I've just got a seven iron here in my hand. Now, one of the factors that I always try and work towards with my students is making sure that at setup, we try and get a very centered setup. So you might have seen some driver videos I've done talking about tilt in the upper body. Well, irons, we don't want any tilt. It's very important where the buttons on my shirt are here or where the middle of my chest is, is directly over the top of the ball. Now, this is a seven iron. This is a mid iron. Even if I'm using pitching wedge, nine iron, sand wedge, I'm very much trying to get my sternum on top of the ball. And if actually, if anything, I go slightly more to the left of the ball with my more lofty clubs. With my longer irons, so as the ball goes further forward in the stance, I still try and get my sternum as close to on top of the ball as I possibly can. It's only when I start to go into a three wood or a driver that sternum starts to go more central to the bottom of my swing. But with an iron shot, depending on where the ball position is for yourself, really try and focus on getting the middle of the chest over the top of the ball. My biggest trait that I see a lot of golfers do, certainly with the irons, is to move this way too much. So they get their body up behind the ball. We want to get that sternum directly over the top of it. Now, at first, when you do that, you might have to video yourself, you might have to record yourself, you might have to do it in front of a video, you might have to get a friend to do, see it you're going to probably feel like you're actually leaning slightly to the left. That's the feeling you're going to have. And I bet you're not. I bet when you actually see yourself, you're not. But it feels like you will be. You're always trying to get the middle of the chest over the ball. Now, then from that, it's how we can keep the middle of our body over the ball as we actually swing. Again, what I was just talking about at the start of the video, when I see golfers who move this way and get their sternum to the right, and get their weight over the right side of the back foot, then we've got a few issues because we either have to massively move back to the left to hit a good shot, and if we don't, we hit behind the ball. So what we're trying to work towards now is keeping the center of the body, of the chest over the top of the ball at setup and really still feeling like that's happening at the top of the backswing. Now, as you can see, my chest has actually gone over here, but I've never moved from over the top of the ball. Maybe my hat might be even a better reference than this. If you look at the logo on my hat, just notice, as I get to the very top of my swing, sorry, I don't want to cover my microphone, my hat, my head is still in exactly the same position as when it started. And that's staying central. So trying to keep my body over the top of the ball. And again, for many of you first, it might feel like you're going this way too much. Record yourself, ask a friend, I bet you're not. Then the trick is, how do we start transferring the weight from this position coming back down? Because this is where we want a lateral movement coming down, but that's more of a weight transfer. Actually getting the weight to transfer past the ball, so we strike ball and then ground straight after. So, keeping the sternum over the top of the ball at address, keeping very centred going back, really reducing any lateral movement, either keep the chest over the ball or the top of the hat, over the ball and then from that point then I want you to start to move the weight coming down to the left hand side towards the target. That way then you actually hit the ball first and then the ground after. So you're kind of getting the pure contact that we you know we need with irons. And go through that again. Sternum over the ball keeping the sternum, keeping very, very centered. Again, record yourself, ask a friend so that you know if you're doing this or not. Really try and monitor it as much as you can. And then from the top of the swing, get the body weight moving towards the left as you rotate on the way down. 
I'm going to be honest with you, that was a little bit skinny. It was a fraction thin. Either I exaggerated the movement to the left too much, or it was just a bit of a missed strike. The good thing is though, <laughs> a thin is still better than the fat. So I've thinned it, but it's probably only gone five or six yards shorter than what I would normally hit it. Let's go one more. So keep him very centered. Turn. It's better. And then transfer the weight. Guys, secret to striking the ball really well, to striking it perfect, is reducing lateral movement to the right, making sure we stay centered, and then allowing the weight to move to the left as we come down and hit. Very important. As always, guys, please do practice this first, either on the practice ground or the driving range to get used to it. Film yourself. Ask a friend to watch you to see if you're doing it. Whatever you want to do, come for some lessons if you need to. And hopefully, this is going to help you strike your irons. Perfect. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do scroll down and click the massive big thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. Also, if you are new to my channel, you can click the big subscribe button just here. That gets you all notifications for all the videos that I put out there. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also I'm now on Snapchat at Rick Shields PGA. And we'll see you all soon. Hopefully striking the irons. So pure, it's untrue. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.